Hey you guys, all right, so today we're gonna talk all things beauty, I got so many things that I wanna share with you all. This is gonna be very heavy on the beauty stuff. Okay, and I wanna give you an update on my organization in my whole like beauty closet thing that I did a couple years ago, or it hasn't been three years ago, I don't even remember, but it's just been so nice and I wanna kinda of show you how it's changed a little, how it hasn't, what's worked, whatever. And so I did one video on that and then I never really talked about it much again. And I feel kind of like I want to, um, I want to update a little bit. I've got hair things to update on, which I did like, you know, I don't use heat on my hair most days and didn't today, so it's still a little wet. But I want to update you guys on what I've been using. I've got some sale info for you guys. I've got good, bad, all these different things. And I had, I do have a few like fashion-y things to share with you guys. A few new pairs of sunglasses, um, some shoes, a few new outfits that I've really been enjoying. But I do want to do like a whole like home favorites and a few new things because I had a whole bunch of stuff. And I was like, should I bring that up? And I was like, no, I just want to do a video maybe downstairs one day where I share some of that kind of stuff. So we'll do that soon. But I felt like I could include a few like fashion-y things in this one. So if you were like wanting to talk about beauty products like this, is it? So just like get comfortable. We're gonna like get in, get into it, okay? And I also have some details on a sale that's going on right now with one of my favorite skincare brands. Colleen Rothschild is running their seven year anniversary sale. I know I've been using her stuff like since close to the beginning, but um, anyways, 25% off through the 24th. So you have a few more days. And if you're watching this after that, I have a personal code that you can use below. I will put that as well. I kind of want to share with you guys some things. So this is a brand that you see me talk about um, in a lot of skincare videos and a lot of different things. And um, what I have been loving the most, and it kind of goes with like the hair stuff. So I have been using her shampoo and conditioner for a long time now. I rave about this. I'm almost out of the conditioner. It's my third shampoo that I've that I've had, and um, I just started this new one. But the color, the packaging, just everything. I just love the way it looks in my bathroom. But the products are incredible. When I am without these, because they were out of stock for a while, and they do, they're so popular that they do go in and out of stock. So I believe she's doing a thing like where if you order it during the sale, she'll still, um, you know, they'll still honor the sale price. You can pre-order them. So I'll put all that info below. It's simple. It works. I can tell such a difference. It's got biotin, niacinamide, I think is how you pronounce it. It's like very nourishing shea butter, but the shampoo is very nourishing yet it makes my hair feel very clean which i love it's very much color safe it's a product that you could use truly for any type of hair and y'all know i like to use more nourishing things this is amazing because you don't need a million different products you don't need like a daily conditioner and then your deep conditioner and i prefer to use a deep conditioner most days anyways it's the quench and shine restorative mask and this is nice because you can use it as a more like intensive treatment like weekly but it's also formulated to be used as a daily conditioner so it really helps with like strengthening your hair don't look at my nails okay we're gonna talk about it i'm having a crisis with my nails currently so embarrassing <laughs> we'll get into that but anyways y'all this is so good the shine that it gives your hair is incredible and especially since i haven't been doing anything to my hair and i've had like you know it's my natural color um it's really fun to see your natural color and just to see like the shine because it is much different obviously than like bleached hair but um it's, it's really, really nice. It's great for frizz, it's great for smoothing, and just a really good product as well, and it smells amazing. But if you guys wanted to kind of try everything, and she does have a few new um, hair products, which I have been dreaming about, like that she would do something like this, like a leave-in cream, which is the kind of um, product that I love using on my hair. So we'll talk about that. If you wanted to try a little bit of everything, you can get this kit. Uh, it comes with this nice little scrunchie, which I haven't really loved because it's like a microfiber scrunchie that actually is, I mean, it's not damaging because it's a scrunchie, but it stays in your hair. Like something about the fiber like really stays in your hair. And sometimes my hair can like slip right out of like those silky scrunchies or something. I love how these sizes look like the actual um, product. You know what I mean? It just looks like a little mini of the um, conditioner shampoo and then the smooth the smooth and shine hair serum which I really like you can use this um, on dry hair to smooth you know flyaways or whatever you can use it on wet hair I've certainly used it like that as a product but I'm so 
I am so excited about this, the Protect and Perfect Styling Cream. So I've known for years, like, even though straighter hair that might be a little more fine. This is the type of product that I love using on my hair. It really helps with like the strength of your hair, especially like, you know, if it's color treated or it's, you know, very prone to breakage. That's just, I just love products like this. So I love that. It's not too heavy. I've been using that. And then you get this nice little bag, which I think is just done um, done very, very nicely. So I would definitely recommend this because this is how you can try this styling cream right now before they have the full sizes. You get this little scrunchie, which I may use here in a second. But yeah, just so many great things. I've been enjoying this too if you need any other ideas. Honey Vanilla Creamy Oil Body Wash. This is a product that I just really love. Um, her body butters are amazing. I'm all out of those. I need to get some more body butter. The hand cream is a must. I think I have three of these open right now. One, This was the one from my bedside table. I have one in my car and I have one in our kitchen. It is the best. I could just go through everything. Like I've got so many of her things. Um, the makeup removing cleansing balm is what I started with and what I use every night to remove my makeup. It's this just beautiful balm. Um, the Extreme Recovery Cream is a very heavy cream. I use that on my neck. I think that's so good for anti-aging to really focus on your neck as well. I don't use this so much on my face. I can use it here and here's like that, but I have a very dry neck. It gets like, it gets like scaly, okay? And um, then the Clarifying Detox Mask is one of my favorites. So I don't know, I could keep going, but um, definitely check out the hair stuff. Let me show you what I did to my lips today. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like start the video doing my lips. I wanted to talk to you guys about those things um, so that you wouldn't miss out on the sale. But um, let me show you what I've been doing to my lips because I did get a new lip liner as you saw my last one was like down to a little nub. And this is a color that I had years ago. It's the um, Lancome Natural Mauve. And I really, really love it. And I remember when I had it before, I literally used it down to the last little itty bitty bit because I loved it that much. But um, anyways, I will... Let me show you guys what that looks like and what I've been doing to my lips, which isn't that big of a deal, but um, just to show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. Like, I don't feel like this is gonna look super different from other colors that I wear, but it's just so good. So I put it on the corners and feather it in at the corners. And then at the bottom, I stick right with my lip line and put it like this a little in the middle. But you don't want like, oh sorry, you don't want like shade all around it or else it'll make, I don't want to say, but like it will, if you're trying to make your lips look bigger, that's going to kind of honestly make them look smaller. Like if you've got decent sized lips, like I'm not trying to make mine look bigger. I'm just trying to define the actual shape because mine are very pale. Do you know what I'm saying? The, okay, and here's the trick, if you, especially if you get your lips done like I do. Go to someone that is not going to give you hot dog lips and like fill them up over here. Like all, like I don't have anything like right here. Like if you feel it or feel it, it's just like, just an, you know, there's just like nothing. It's like hard to explain. And then just line your lips. I mean, this is like not rocket science. I don't know. I'm like explaining this like it's something super difficult. I really just wanted you to see the color of this and to see what a big difference, like a little chunk, um, lining your lips makes. And then what I love is that it has this little brush. Like I said, I had this years ago. So it's like you're feathering it without adding more and without smudging your like makeup. Do you know what I mean? Like with your finger. And then I don't like to fill this in. I see so many people doing that. And some people do have flat lips right there. But if you've got like a natural little shape, don't fill that in. Or do if you're feeling like different. It's a really good color though. And then, and then I just use this. It's clear. It's like easy. And it does give you a lot of plumping. I do feel the like, I don't, I don't know, because it says it's like an, it says it's an instant and long-term lip plumper. And, um, I'm just getting stringy. I do like how it, um, I like how it looks. So, and I do feel like it does what it says it does. So in a lot of my recent videos, I have been using this setting spray. And I know it's like, okay, setting spray. No, y'all, seriously? Okay, so the Urban Decay 
makeup setting, the all nighter, that stuff actually works. It has an ingredient that like locks in your makeup, like it will last, okay? This has seemingly, I don't know if it's the same ingredient or whatever, the same exact effect, okay? But it gives you this like finish. It smells good too. That's just, you know what I mean? It's just like this natural, beautiful, like glowy finish. If you had any ounce of like powdery cakiness, it just takes it away. It's so, so good. And yeah, so this, you guys, is a must have. The Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. One more, okay, this, uh, this is another spray. So this is a throwback to when I stayed at the Beverly Hills Hotel. When I went the time, was, was it the last time, the time before? I think it was the last time, and we went to the spa. And in the spa, they have all of these Natura Bissy products. They had all these products out, but I remember at that spa that day, I was like, girl, what can I use? Cause I know this is some expensive stuff. And it was just all laid out. We were just going to town, okay? Like they had all these products. And I just remember using this and just being like, ah, you know. And if I didn't have on makeup, cause this is a product that you really don't wanna use. I mean, I guess you could use it over your makeup, but um, it's the CNC Vitamin Splash Citric Revitalizing Spray. So yeah, I guess you can use it, whatever. but I like to use it right when I get out of the shower. I use it on my chest, I use it on my neck, I use it all over my face. Brad even, Brad likes really citrusy smelling stuff because it does, it smells like sweet orange, just yummy. I don't know, it's just a little fancy thing that I treated myself to. I have really been enjoying this. Now when I first got it, it was like, it's, it's kind of like, I got it because it's like powdery and it's fresh at the same time. And it has sort of that old, I should say that, chanel -y scent. It's the Chanel number 19, okay? I don't like the original number five. I like the number five low. So I feel like it's a little, like the original is too heavy, but the low is very good. Cause it's just slightly more like fresh. This, first of all, it's so much. Like, I mean, I don't even know how I'll ever get through this. Like it is so, so much. I've had this forever. And I feel like I've been using it a lot lately. Every time I wear it, Olivia's like, mommy, that smells so good. Like she likes it. And as I smell it on myself throughout the day, like here's why. If you spray this on a card, it's just a weird scent. You wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, that's the best shit I've ever smelled. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe you would. But for me, it's like, it dries down to this like powdery scent. And all throughout the day, I feel like I smell fresh and clean and just fancy. Okay. But I really do like it. Um, and then something else I've been loving, and I think I mentioned this in a video recently. I feel like I talked about this, the Gucci Bloom. This is so, I feel like, kind of, not basic, but kind of like old school. It reminds me of the Michael Kors, but I ain't buying that, you know what I mean? Um, and I've had this for a while. This is like Michael Kors, but like elevated, like it's better. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like, has that typical Michael Kors scent that every single brand does and copies. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, do you know what I mean? Like that tube rose, heavy, creamy gardenia scent, but it's a little more like grown up or it's, it smells fancier. La Tulip is still one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. If you guys think, oh, I just love that so much. This is like odd. It's like fresh floral odd. And then um, this, I was really into this for a while and I haven't worn it in a hot second, but the Baccarat Rouge by 40. I like the back of it better than the front of it because you can see the little chandelier. Oh, it's like spicy and sexy and like heavy, but mmm. Man, I'm gonna really be smelling today. This is uh, really, uh, really kind of like, brings me back to like early quarantine. I don't know what, it, I don't know why, why that is like, that is just such a good one. Like fragrances, like even if I'm not gonna go anywhere or do anything or put on a stitch of makeup. I just love putting on perfume. Like I have so many I could even talk, like I just I love, I love them. I might do a perfume video at some point. Um, maybe when I do that, you know what? I've got so many things to talk about in this. Maybe I could skip that and maybe like in a couple weeks, maybe like in my next few videos or something. Um, I could do a perfume update, show you guys that whole closet, show you guys, I think that would make more sense because this, I, f I could feel myself rushing because I know I've got a lot to show you and I don't want to do that. I don't want to rush. We'll talk perfumes and stuff then. Should I talk about these? Whatever, we'll talk about that then. This is good too, okay? I know I'm like, this is my favorite perfume. Let me show you 10. Okay, this one, I changed my battery, you guys. Can you, I feel like it's totally pointed different than it was before. 
Um, okay, let's continue perfumes. All right, a few more, but whatever. I mean, I know I was like, I'm gonna do a whole perfume video. This is not even scratching the surface. Like, you guys, I love perfume so much. These are like the ones that I have sitting out right now that I'm just using a lot. But this one, the Chanel Paris Riviera. This is such a good one. Brad really, really likes this one because he's like, I don't know, he really likes this one, but something about this one is very like Chanel to all of Chanel. I mean, honestly, like even the number 19 is very Chanel. But this one is like very Chanel y, but a little more wearable. Because I think all Chanel scents kind of have that, you know, that heaviness. Chance is a good one too, but it's like, that, that's like a little more wearable. But it's kind of, I don't know. Chance reminds me of college like so much. But the Paris Riviera is like an old school Chanel but that's wearable and fresh and a little young smelling. I've had this one sitting, kind of just like in my powder room, like on this tray. And I'm like, you know, perfumes, especially ones like this, are just pretty to spray around or just to use throughout the day. Like, sit them somewhere pretty in your house. Do you know what I mean? This one, if you want something that's a little fresher, so it has that hint of like a greeny scent to it, but it's also powdery. And when you first smell it, you're gonna, you may not love it. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it will grow on you. That's awful to have to say, but I'm just saying like, it's just good. I don't know, it's, 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 it is a good one. And someone the other, okay, of course, this I feel, the Delina exclusive or whatever, has become just my go-to like staple. I, I cannot, I mean, Gucci too is like nowhere, actually nowhere to be found anymore. It went through that phase where it was like, you know, you can't find it, you can't find it. And I don't, I'd always be able to find it. Like I could always find it. It's like totally gone now. Um, and I feel like this is kind of my new, like, signature. I don't know. I just really love it. Oh, my God. I just love that one. Um, very unlike the... Uh, kind of. Kind of. Okay. This is, like, majorly cutting off my head. I gotta fix this. There we go. Here we go. Um, but the Delena is good. Someone asked me the other day. They were... I think it was, like, in the background of a photo. And someone was like... I'm gonna... Someone said, I want to buy that pink perfume. And I'm like, it's not... I mean, did I say it was for sale? No. I mentioned, oh my gosh, and I, oh, I have another, you guys, look how cute this is. So, this is something that I'm majorly loving, okay? This House of Siage brand, again, like, I've told the whole story of, like, how, oh, my nails are so bad. Oh, um, okay, first of all, this House of Siage brand, like, I was gonna save it, you know, because I thought, well, I'll just show it in the perfume video, but now I'm kind of like, mm, I gotta share this, because this is something that I have been, like, really loving. This Bijou, is that what it's called? Hope Bijou? so cute these are first of all just like heirlooms like they're just so cute i don't know they just look like little heirlooms you know like even if like one day like when the perfume's long gone or like whatever they're little swarovski crystals like the containers are just this one is very good this is going to be like a major majorly like summer scent for me because it's very like a little grapefruity very grapefruity but um floral at the same time very fresh love that one but I'd seen this one, and uh, the brand was kind enough to send me these a while back, and I just, <laughs> this one I love. It is the Mickey, and y'all know I'm like a Disney freak, but I, it's like such, I mean, and I haven't smelled all their scents, but it's such an odd scent. It's like coconut. It smells very coconutty, but like sweet, like a little cotton candy-ish coconut -y. I don't know. I just, I love this. This is so cute. So um, I'll talk about these more in my perfume video. I want to get like really detailed. I'm even seeing one more that I want to show you guys. But I, like, like I said, I like wearing my perfumes. I keep the ones out that I love and then sometimes I'll go in there and grab like another one or a different one, like switch it out. But these are just kind of like my main, my main faves. Okay, so with like eye masks and stuff, you guys, I have been obsessed with these triangle of light, this is the pack from the one that I used today. In my, was it my last video or video before last? I used, they're just very different like eye masks, you know, they're designed to kind of just like really accentuate this area. But like your pores are not accentuate that area, I guess. But it just, I don't know, like your pores are, it just, it really is a nice one. And I love like the actual serum part of it. It just makes your eye area feel good. And then these is my last one, the 24 karat, or what is it? 18 karat 
gold, whatever it is, the baggage claim gold eye masks. These are very, very good. All right, you guys, and I know that I have talked a lot in like recent videos about like my everyday makeup, but whatever. Today, I did kind of the same exact thing that I did in that um, most recent makeup video, except I put on a little more liner. I smudged it a little more. So I kind of like that look. I am down. I mean, I, I couldn't even put it all the way in because it's going to get like lost in the thing. Um, that is almost out, and I purchased a different uh, liner that I think I'm going to like even better than that because it is, which I don't know, I hate to even say that. It's the same color, so it's that same like perfect black and brown, um, smudges really beautifully, but it's more long wearing. So um, I might talk about that one soon. I want to do something with that. And kind of show you guys some new things. We'll talk like more like lashes and makeup and more specifics in that one. So that will come up. That's coming up. And then I told, like I, I, I already, okay. So like two of my friends are already like, they've got this, they love it. Like I know a lot of you guys uh, picked this up. This brush, you guys, I'm obsessed. Like I've been using this for everything every day like i just i really do love it and i talked about this in a recent video pick this up if you haven't it's made very very well people were asking like well what about like you know they saw a review like where it'll fall apart if you clean it i'm like first of all i wash mine like after every use pretty much maybe every other day sometimes it's like okay um but when you wash a brush you don't ever want to submerge this you never wet that anyways and even if you did this is a very like the brush itself feels very quality like this is like a solid little like lucite handle and these are brass it feels very good i just the quality is very good it, but you don't want to be dumb about it and when you're washing it just be like holding the whole thing under the water with any brush any brush no matter what it, it would just that that's a mess so just you know just oh my gosh i can't quick let me before i get into some of these clothes because i have a few things to show you with you guys and a few um um sunglasses to share with you guys my nails i just i i'm so embarrassed like i didn't even want them on like for the video but like i cannot get them off like so these kiss nails y'all I've had these on since Christmas Eve. This one it was the day before that. I don't even know. They have been on for a long time. You know, that's what they look like. This, these are the more rounded ones. I love these. Y'all know I don't have time. And I just don't have the patience, really. I mean, you can find time to do anything. Like, let's not kid ourselves. But I'm not going to go to flip a nail salon. That is just not my thing. I would rather do anything else, okay? Um, no hate on nail salons. I just do. Personally, no thank you, okay? I have a video on this, how I apply them, so you can check that out if you have any questions. I will link to that below. But honestly, y'all, this is like, I mean, they're, they're life-changing. But usually mine start wanting to come off at around like three weeks, right? Between two and three weeks. It has been longer than that. And I have them paint, you know, I painted them for a while, and it's like I took the paint off and thought, oh, I'm gonna, they're going to be bubbly. They'll come right off. They are like still on there and I don't know what I'm gonna do cause they're like majorly grown out and they look disgusting. So, but how you get them off? I mean, I, I talk about that in that video. I don't wanna be repetitive. So just watch the video if you wanna know how to get them off cause I, I can't even get into that. I just can't say enough good things about this. So I haven't been using my micro needle or roller very often lately. I just have been kind of taking a break to see if I really even, I love it and I feel like it makes a difference. Um, but I'm having, I just feel like I'm repurchasing the heads often and I'm just like, is this something that I really wanna keep using? I don't know, but I feel like I see more results on my skin with this than anything before, you know, bef I don't know, before I start doing anything like Botox or filler or whatever, my face, I just feel, looks more plump, looks different. I don't put any filler on my cheeks or anything like that. And for people that say that, like, no, if anything, like, no. My eye filler and my, my eye, I put just the tiniest bit in that tear trough, um, which if anything, it made me look like I did before, okay? Before I got like old and hollow. Um, but it's like gone, like I can't feel it anymore, which you can't really, but it was just such a small amount and it's pretty much like past time. Anyways, and usually I would have gotten my lips done again by this point and I just haven't. But yeah, that's something that changed, you know, that made my face, I feel look more balanced. I love that. Um, Botox doesn't change the way your face looks. I feel like I say this all the time, but it's like there's still people that just don't get it and you look dumb when you comment saying things and you just don't get it. So just educate yourself. But I, my point is, 
I don't do anything filler wise or anything that makes my face look different here or anything like that, but I feel like just in how my face is shaped and just in the tone, because that's what this helps with, it helps tone, I mean, drain all the lymphatic drainage and just like your muscle stuff. This is so good. I do it every day, like twice a day. I don't want to get makeup on it, you know, or make it dirty, but I just get all up in my cheekbones and then, you know, it's just so good. Um, you can even use a stone to do this, which this is a Colleen one. You can do this for your right now and, and take advantage of the sale. Do the same motions. It's just do it with like an oil product or with like a something that causes some slip to your skin and, you know, use the different contours to like, you know, get up in there. And um, I will say this is something. Okay. So she almost posted about like JLo lately. And of course now she's like pushing her beauty brain and stuff, which is cool. But like, this is a woman who for years, like, and it is like all these years, like way before YouTube. And you know, when you would just like pour over these beauty magazines and you're like, please like tell me what you use. You know what I mean? And you just be dying for a celebrity to say like what they actually use on their skin. And they're like, I drink water. I use Vaseline. I use coconut oil. I use olive oil. And JLo swears that for years she's just used olive oil on her skin. And now it's like, well, that's all she's like given up, right? Well, but now suddenly, like, you know, she's got, like, she's going to use all this skincare, which, great, fine, whatever. But, um, and then I heard, some, oh, I'm going to use all this stuff. I'm going to buy all this stuff because J-Lo, I'm like, she hasn't been using this for the last 20, how old is she? She's, like, 55 or something. Like, I don't even know how old is J-Lo. Like, she looks amazing. She says she's never had anything done to her face or, like, surgery. I think she may have had, like, an early 2000s, like, sneaky nose job, which nobody's going to admit to that now, and I think that was really shameful back then. Nobody owes anything, first of all, to like say anything about anything. But if you're selling a beauty product and you say, I've never had anything done, that's different. Like whatever, so she's, she's never had anything done, no Botox, no anything, which maybe I can believe that. Like you see some pictures of her and she's really like wrinkled up and she's really, but then sometimes she just looks like a poor, like glass and that's not really, so I don't know like if it's like editing, I don't know what it is, but she says she's just used olive oil. Okay, whatever, I didn't think I was gonna get off into that, but I did. She, first of all, she doesn't drink, which, like, good for her, which that probably has a huge difference. But she says, did she say this or did someone else say this? I saw somewhere where it says that she gets these, like, weekly or whatever gua sha massages, which that's what this is. It's a gua sha stone. And maybe she's been doing that for years and years and years where, like, she gets, you know what I mean? And I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, this works, like, Facial massage is like magic and it works. And yeah, she's been going to a professional or something. Like, yeah, I can see that. Like the smoothest glass forehead that you see sometimes, like you can't go from seeing wrinkles on your forehead to then just having a smoothest glass forehead unless if you've like gotten Botox. Well, I don't know. I don't know, okay? She says she doesn't get a ton of Botox. Maybe she's just getting a little. I don't know. Perhaps. Who knows? Allegedly. I'm just saying. That's my opinion. I think that's cool. And I'm curious about her stuff. I really am. If any of you guys have tried it or you think I should try or whatever, I, I kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. But then here I am. I'm like, here's my 3,050 things and I get Botox and I do all this. I just want, I want to tell you guys. Um, but then if I didn't, I'd be pissed if people were like, yeah, you did. So good for her. Whatever. Okay. So let's talk about... A few new items that I got. I want to do a video in my closet as well and do like closet favorites, but I know that's not going to come up for a while and I want to show you guys like things right now. We'll do a clothing video soon. I'll show you some underwear. Um, and, and a few tops. Ooh, and sunglasses. Okay. Let me just, just hold on. Let me get these sunglasses because they're like all the way over here. So this is so cute. It's like a little, um, oh gosh, like a, a Sherpa pullover and I just thought the back of it was so cute. If you follow me on Instagram, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys do because um, I got more people there anyways, I think, that are actually like active. Um, so, oh, and then this, oh my gosh, you guys. This I wore, I think in my last video, but holy goodness, y'all, it is like Barefoot Dreams in a pullover. This is like very soft, very, oh, and I, I got a small in it and I will link to it, but it's not like giant and too long. It's just actually very, it's a very cute top. You know what I mean? It's not like, um, you know, like if you have like a pullover that's like, like that, but it's too long, it would look like you are wearing like a, sorry, don't keep brushing it cause it's drying. Um, this is the best little tangle teaser. Um, you know what I mean? 
that just works, okay? Got these, and then I got a few of my friends these for Christmas. Ooh, I don't even know. They might probably look like a wreck because I just live in these. These are really good slides. When I first got them, I thought, are they gonna be comfy? Like, when, they looked a little cheap when I first got them out, but as you wear them, they get fluffier and cuter. They're made in Italy. They're actually very well made, although when I first got them out, I thought, mm, these are a little cheap feeling, but they're really not. They're very cute. Speaking of skins, um, I hate to show you, well, I mean, whatever. They're, they're just like wrinkled. They've like been in my drawer. But I got these, and okay, I rave over the skims. I don't even know what they're called. I'm wearing them right now. Like, I have. Honestly, I got rid of like most all my other like underwear and I switched over to these because they are just so comfortable and incredible and I did a video talking about these before when I was showing the bras and stuff, but um, they're so good, okay? So I'll link to those. But these are the sleeping, they're called sleeping underwear or whatever. I don't like fold my underwear and like make, I just like throw them in the drawer. So half the time they're like, ex these are like all gold but anyway so they're like sleeping underwear okay I'm like trying to show you what underwear like up close but I like it because they're higher rise they're not gonna be constricting and hold you in but they just make they're just cute and they're comfortable oh my gosh this material is so comfortable I wouldn't wear these out because like this is a little thicker up top and I, mean, I guess you could but I just don't want them to show or to like show through and I don't know but these are so good so treat yourself to some of those and at first when I bought them I was like is this necessary Yes, yes it is. Okay, let me tell you. I got these around Thanksgiving-ish. They were, I've had them for a while. I almost returned them and then I was like, oh, I don't know. Something about these I really like. Okay, so normally I don't like like wiry glasses. These are sh like more shield type, you know, and I haven't had any of those in like a very long time. So these are very definitely different, but I, I really like them. They're like very lightweight. They're actually not that offensive looking. You know what I mean? Like I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look like a nut. Do I look like a nut? I don't think so. I think they're good. Um, but I just haven't really worn them a lot or gotten up the, like, mm, like where am I gonna wear these? Like where I feel like, you know? No, that's a lie. I wore them through a drive-thru one time. I think I wore them to Taco Bell. And I felt very like going through the drive through But that'll be the thumbnail. Y'all, what do we think? Part of me is like, oh God, no. When you see a pair of sunglasses like this, or like you'll see someone that has like a very large, you know, pair of sunglasses that's very like, you know, in your face and trendy, but they don't look good on them. And even they know that. They just look dumb. But I think. Is that what these are? No, I'm just kidding. I don't think these look like that. You know, like I don't think, th I think these are actually kind of flattering and they're lightweight and they're very comfortable because I do not like, I have, I have a really hard time with aviators, with metal glasses, with anything that feel, I just feel like they're all flimsy and just like, yeah. These actually, while they're very light, they are so lightweight, they are very, comfortable and they feel not solid because they're not heavy but they don't feel like they're gonna fall apart i am into it okay maybe it took me just like talking about them to like talk myself into them let me know i'm sure some people are like that they're awful but i kind of don't care i kind of really like them they kind of give me the vibe of like um when you get your eyes dilated but anyways, those are um, Fendi glasses, and the reason I was kind of like even looking at those in the first place is because earlier this summer, spring, I think it was before the anniversary sale, because I remember some similar ones were on the anniversary sale, um, and I, I wished I would have gotten them. And even when I got these, I feel like they were mismarked or something weird happened with the price that I was like really excited about. Okay, whatever, I don't know. But these, you guys, are the best glasses on the planet. They are those Fendi, just... They're kind of like a, kind of like a retro. I feel like kind of they have like a 50s, kind of almost like oversized Wayfair. Is that the, is that what you would call them? I don't know. They're just very like cute, but they're the right size. Like they're oversized enough. Like I have to wear larger sunglasses because I'll have a big old head. And if I wear like anything that's even normal sized, I'll look like I'm wearing like, like little beady glasses. But 
Ooh, they're real dirty. But um, these I just thought were so special. Like, look, you can see how, you know, the print is on them. But they were impossible to find. Like, I would try to link to them, like, over, even, like, over the summer, like, even in the, in the fall. I could not find them anywhere. Like, they were, and, and they have them again. Like, they have them not only in this, I will link to this exact pair, okay? So I'll put exact next to these. But they have them in ones that are slightly different. Um, so, do you see what I'm saying about my hair? I feel like as it air dries, it gets good. Sometimes it looks like total garbage, but as it airs, I don't know. I just rather have it like this than like, oh my gosh, I get so tempted sometimes to cut my hair and do that little bob again because I'm very low maintenance with my hair and I think that's a good idea. And then I see pictures of myself when I had it and I was like, ooh, that would feel real good. But I'm telling you guys, like, I just can't because, like, short hair is so, like, styled. And I would rather have long, like, messy, stringy hair that looks blah that I could just flip around and be like, oh, it's supposed to look messy. Rather than, like, short hair where you really just don't have an excuse. Do you know what I'm saying? Is that bad to say? Um, and let me talk about this. So, rolling my face. So that's pretty much it with the... Oh, and I do a pair of shoes. Okay, I wasn't going to show these. Um, but I... <laughs> But y'all, I, I wanted to say, okay, now this, these aren't for everybody. If you ever did think about getting some Chanel sneakers, which I had always kind of looked at them and thought cute, but I bought some expensive things before. Are they worth it? Or they, I don't know. I have a pair of Valentino sneakers, those rock stud ones that I bought years ago that still are like look brand new and I've worn the hell out of them. Like there is something to that. But then some brands, they just don't feel good. These are so solid and nice. And honestly, the most comfortable pair of sneakers I've ever owned, they're um, the sh new Chanel, I don't know what they're called, but they're from the like spring, summer cruise collection. They come in some different colors. But I just thought these were nice because I wanted a pair that was white-ish, but not solid white. And I think these are just a good one. So, um, or good pairs. So if you guys have um, someone that you get in touch with at Chanel, or if you wanted to just check these out or look into them, now would be the time while you can because, you know, these things don't, they don't keep things around very long. And they do have a different color. I think they have a darker color. But they did have a few new sneakers for spring. So um, check those out. I just, oh my gosh, I just got the cutest pair of earrings for Valentine's. I cannot, I can't wait to show you, share those with you guys. Blah. Um, I need like some coffee or something. Like I know I might, I might seem like I'm like jittery or tired, but it's just, I, I'm tired. I, I need like some some caffeine or something. Um, what else to share with you guys, y'all? Definitely take advantage of that sale. Again, I will put um, the link to the seven year, 25% off Colleen Rothschild um, anniversary sale. Definitely grab this, oh my gosh, you guys. Or um, go ahead and order some of like the full sizes of the hair stuff, but I would definitely pick this up because you can try a little bit of everything and it's, um, I don't think they have the full sizes of these available yet. So it's how you can try this. And um, if you're a fan of that, you'll use up all this stuff anyway. So that's a great little deal. And then um, if you're watching this after the 24th, after the sale has ended, you can use my code to save as well. So I'll put my code below too. Cause I think that one's 20%. So um, yeah, don't, you want to use the 25% during the sale, but I'll put all that info below. And thank you guys for watching. I had so much fun chatting with you all today. I feel like this is going to run very long. And um, I'm sorry if I tease that about the beauty closet in there. But um, yeah, I really, obviously, you see, we wouldn't have had time to talk about it today. But I think that'll make more sense. I'll do a perfume video where I can kind of take you through and show you. And then you'll see all of the organization in there in detail. I'll show you how I've organized my makeup in there and how it's, or how it's stayed organized. Even recently, I cleaned out a ton of stuff. So, um... And I'll show you, you know, more over here and more perfumes and stuff. And and then I'll do the home video soon with some new home stuff that I've been loving. And yeah, you guys, I'll link to anything that you see that I'm wearing. I'll link to my earrings, which I didn't really talk about, but um, I'll link to all that. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and spending this time with me today as always. And um, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, y'all.